Hey guys, uh, today we're going to be talking about the metric units of length. Uh, if you think about the units of length we have talked about so far, inches, feet, yards, miles. Um, metric is the same kind of thing where you're measuring distance, but we're not going to be talking about the customary. Uh, we're going to be talking about something a little different. Now I know you've heard this word before. What is the base unit uh, for the metric measurement of length? Let's see, if you said meter, you've got it. Okay, so today we're going to be working with that meter. So let's just get an idea for how big a meter is. You've got your inch. You know, that, that line on your ruler we measure in inches. Twelve of those inches equals one foot. Okay, but we're not talking inches and feet, so let's get a little bit closer. Three of those feet equals a... What is it? Okay, a yard. So three of those feet equals a yard. A meter is about the same size as a yard. Not quite, though. Uh, if you look at my little visual representation here, a meter is actually just a little bit longer. It's about three inches longer than the yard is, 39 and just a little bit. Okay, so when we're talking today, we're going to be talking meter, which is that length there, just a little bit bigger than a yard. So what are some things that are about a meter long? If you take a look at some of these pictures here, you'll see uh, the average doorway is about a meter wide. A uh, violin from the very bottom of it to the very end of the neck is about a meter long. Your average fridge is about a meter wide. And, you know, obviously, depending on the doorway, violin, fridge, and then swimming pool as we get to it, uh, the shallow end of a swimming pool is about a meter deep. Now, obviously, there's some pools that, like, taper all the way out, and, you know, that, that's not it. But, you know, when you're looking a little bit more than that 3 feet, 39 inches or so, would be about your, uh, your meter deep in the shallow end of the pool. So let's move on, then. You'll notice we've got these other meter measurements here. We've got kilometer, meter, centimeter, and millimeter. This brings us back to those prefixes that we've previously talked about. Okay, kilo, centa, and milla. Now a kilometer, if you remember, is equal to 1,000 of whatever the base unit is for that kilo. So a kilometer or a kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. Now the meter being our base unit, there's really, I mean, a meter, one meter equals one meter, so that's not very helpful. But if we move down to centimeter, I want you to think of cent like money. How many pennies are in a dollar? Well, a hundred pennies are in a dollar, so there are a hundred centimeters in a meter, which means a centimeter is equal to one one hundredth of a meter, or another way we could say that is one meter equals 100 centimeters. And then our other one here, milli, uh, if you think about like a millipede, a millipede is thought to have a thousand legs. That milli means a thousandth. Uh, so a millimeter is one one thousandth of a meter. Or another way we could say that is one meter equals 1,000 millimeters. Okay, so let's start with the, uh, the smallest of those, the millimeter. Uh, if I want to think of things that are approximately a millimeter long, uh, I've got some of those pictured off to the right side there, so let's just but look at your little ruler on the left there first. If you think about your average ruler, you've got the inches on one side. Most of them will have centimeters and millimeters on the other. Each of those littlest tick marks, so the very, very little ones, those are a millimeter. So things that are about a millimeter wide, that's just that little space right there. The tip of a pencil, the width of a quarter, or maybe the width of a grain of rice. 
So there's not a lot of things that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis which are actually a millimeter. Um, but you might measure, say, a, the width of a penny, because the penny's going to be, what, one, uh, about 15 millimeters. And, and so there are some things we would, but if you're talking about just one millimeter, that's such a small little size, that grain of rice, the width of the quarter, or the tip of the pencil there. Okay, Keep that in mind. We'll move on to the centimeter then. Now you'll notice the centimeter is each of those numbered lines. So if we're going to talk about what is the width of a centimeter, you're going to think about like the tip of a fingernail. That distance right, right there on an adult hand is about a centimeter. Uh, we could talk about an almond. The width of the almond right there. Or a beetle. Now obviously it depends on the beetle because I've seen some pretty big beetles in my day, but the width of that beetle is going to be about a centimeter. So those three things then fingernail, beetle, and almond are about the width that we're talking about when we're talking about things that are a centimeter. Uh, our next one now is kilometer. Now a kilometer is not something that we can really picture on, on a sheet of paper because a kilometer is a thousand meters. That, that means, you know, that average yardstick, that meter stick, you're talking a thousand of those. Uh, so we're talking longer distances than you might normally think within a classroom. Um, everything I've given you here, I've based at Scholar Academy. So we're going to start here with Scholar Academy, Scholar Academy, Scholar Academy. It's a shared place that we all know. And hopefully I picked at least one spot with these three that each of you have been before. So if you think about our school, if we were to walk from our school over to 1,000, up, kind of over and around. England Acres Park back there. Uh, that's the park with the playground and the gigantic field with the big old walking path that goes around it. England Acres Park is about a kilometer away. Um, another location from Scholar Academy to somewhere in the Walmart parking lot is going to be about a kilometer away. And then again, from Scholar Academy to about the bowling alley, All-Star Bowling. Uh, that's about a kilometer away. So those three distances can kind of give you an idea if we were to start walking from the school to England Acres, or from the school to Walmart, or from the school to the bowling alley. Those three things are about a kilometer in distance. So let's just take a quick review. Okay, we were talking about the metric system of measurement today. So the first and smallest of those is the millimeter, which is one one thousandth of a meter. Uh, you'll notice that I have here the abbreviations for them, and I'm going to fix one real quick. This should be CM. Okay, so a millimeter is one one thousandth of a meter. We abbreviate that as an mm. If you see any kind of measurement, like 32 mm, we're talking 32 millimeters. One millimeter is about the width of a quarter. A centimeter, uh, you'll notice we abbreviate as cm. So if I want to talk about 100 centimeters, you might see 100 cm. Uh, that is one one hundredth of a meter, uh, or about the length of a beetle. A meter is about the width of your fridge. Now notice we abbreviate meter with just an M. Or a kilometer or a kilometer, we abbreviate as KM. And again, I wasn't very accurate when I made this apparently, so we'll fix that there. A kilometer is 1,000 meters. So rather than being smaller, Millimeter and centimeter are both smaller than a meter. A kilometer is equal to a thousand meters, so roughly from the school to Walmart. Um, hopefully that helps. Uh, make sure you check out the activity and see how you do with it.